Kia ora guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a beautiful day in New Zealand. Completely and utterly the wrong time of the day, but I'm down at the beach. Sun shining, a little bit of wispy cloud going by. Windy, warm, beautiful. Photography wise, I'm just having a wander down the beach and just see what I can come up with. There's no grand vistas that I'm aiming to shoot. Like I say, we've got some lovely headlands, which would make some great shots at the right time of day, but this is not the right time of day. Just because I'm having a little bit of a walk, and a walk is always better with a camera in your hand. I've brought out the Leica Q2 again. I'm just looking for little shots on the beach. You know, a little bit of jetsam and flotsam, that sort of stuff. Seaweed, shells, anything. Driftwood, you name it. I'm gonna try and make 10 shots. That's, that's my target. I'm gonna try and make 10 nice shots. Now I'm gonna employ the Q2's macro mode quite a bit today. And let's start looking for potential subjects. There's plenty, there's loads. What I wouldn't give for a tilting screen. So from a rocky sea break to some old corroded rusting rail tracks. And obviously one thing I'm really mindful is trying not to get sand onto the camera. Another little section of rail tracks here with a little bit of greenery growing around it. And I think this will probably be a normal shot, take it out of macro not overly keen on that to be fair, quite messy. So I'm going to slip it back into macro, one section of the leaves with all the rusty corrosion around it. And I think that suits this particular shot much better. Let's have a look. It's quite hard to see on the back of the screen because it's so bright. I'm going to start treating this like a film trip. You know, take the shots, try and make them as best as you can in camera. But obviously a film camera. You can't review them, you can't say, yeah, that works, that doesn't, and adjust it. What you get is what you get. So uh, that's how we're going to treat this. Just take a look at this little beauty. Now what we've got here is a Smurfs condom. And it's still alive. It's potentially some sort of jellyfish. Or some sort of definitely some sort of sea creature but it's actually it's actually moving incredibly slowly but it's, it's been moving there go 
Come on, mate, walk. Do something. Move. See, look, look, look. I don't know if you can make this out, but it's definitely uh, definitely some movement in that little little thing. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's making a decent shot. And here we have a series of natural rocks as opposed to the seawall rocks that start there and run down the beach from this end it's all natural with the textures and patterns this will add to this afternoon's little collection that's quite a interesting little rock boulder And then we have this big fella, the southern side of this rock, it's quite smooth, you get to the northern side and she's pretty well pitted. There's another one there half buried, I'm pretty sure these are part of the spherical concretions that are further along the northern side of the beach. I'm sure this lot would keep any geologist quite happy. Coconut there actually, coconut. I don't know if there's any coconut trees around here, but there's definitely a coconut there. I'm really enjoying the flexibility of the built-in macro lens. It's opening up a new world of potential for me. It's something, macro is something that I don't really, I've never really been into it. It's not kind of my thing. But when there's not a lot else to shoot, you know, the big vistas aren't here, all the vistas are here, but the, uh, the conditions aren't. It's too bright, it's too harsh at the moment. Look for small stuff. If the big, if the big stuff's not working, use the small stuff, that's what I say. Piece of well gnarled driftwood. Shot. I'm quite liking this half buried lump of wood, all nailed up, nicely coloured. Pine nuts anyone? Freedom camping area. I've parked down there numerous occasions and some cracking nights here. So, even better mornings when we get a stunning sunrise over the Pacific, especially if we've got sort of high altitude clouds like this that really do catch and make some incredible photographs. Sadly, I won't be here tonight. To catch that unfortunately. Gotta move on. So I'll make the most of it while I'm here. Just something about flying kites in there. Oh, <laughs> it's awesome mate. I haven't done it since I was about 10 so. Where are you from? Where's the accent? Whitby. Whitby? What a beautiful place, Robin Hood's Bay, all that malarkey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, from uh, Cossadal Castleford. How oh, are you? What are you doing here? Taking pictures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are you in the caravan or? No, no, we just live in White Puck. Oh, you live here? Yeah, yeah. What about yourselves? My mate, I'm on holiday. My mate, who I've known ever since I was a kid, lives in White Power. Oh, yeah, nice place. So we, we've just got down in his motorhome. Oh, Everybody good on you. Just got three weeks, three and a half weeks here, actually. Oh, nice, mate. Oh, Let's hope you get some bloody weather. How long have you been here for? <laughs> uh, about 19 years now. Really? Yeah, I love it. It's weird how you haven't lost your accent. Now nah, you've got to keep it. And I'll tell you what, when you, when you meet another Yorkshireman, it comes out even more. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Look after yourself, buddy. Yeah, you. See ya, mate.
there really is something pretty cool about flying a kite something I've not owned for many 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 years I want to buy my granddaughter a kite that's my idea well I think that'll do for today photography wise just gonna get my butt sat down have a feed relax and enjoy the rest of the day leave the camera for a while who knows anyway hope you enjoyed this little ramble down the beach and until next time which basically means uh, see you later have a great day